to another vlog. Today we've got a productive Monday ahead and I always love to bring you guys along my productive days, especially when I have quite a few things to get done on my to-do list or lots of work to get done. So today we've got a little mix of both. I have some errands that I want to do and then a good chunk of editing and admin stuff to get done today as well because I'm actually heading out of town on Wednesday, which I cannot wait for. I'm going to San Diego and I've only ever been there one other time and I was very, very young. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be from Wednesday to Monday. So just like a good little few days away and there's a lot of work and just like random errands and stuff that I'd like to get done before I head out of town. So I'm going to take care of a few of those things today. I've got a workout this morning. I'm probably just going to go to my apartment gym in terms of convenience sake and it's a lower body day. You guys know how I like to kick off my weeks. I always start off Monday with a lower body workout because personally, leg day is like my least favorite to train. So I like to get it done and over with towards the beginning of the week. And then that way, everything else is just good and flowing. And then tomorrow I have a yoga sculpt class, which I've been loving my yoga sculpt, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I always train either like lower body, upper body, and then full body on Fridays typically. It's always like very dependent on how I'm feeling. But more often than not, I like wake up Monday knowing today's lower body day, so let's get her done. I actually haven't had any caffeine this morning, which to be honest, I'm pretty shocked by because not only did I not get like the best night's sleep last night, I was tossing and turning for like hours and I had no idea why until I finally took one of those zombie sleep gummies and I was knocked out. I was nervous to take it because I didn't want to wake up this morning feeling like groggy and a little tired if like the effects kind of wore into the morning a little bit, but they didn't at all, so I was happy about that. Because typically anything with, actually I don't know if Let Me Sleep has um, melatonin in it, but any sort of like ounce of melatonin, I swear will just leave me feeling so groggy and just like tired the next day. But I woke up feeling so refreshed despite the lack of quality sleep I probably got. breakfast this morning i did a yoga parfait with a bunch of fresh fruit on top it literally looks so freaking good i just added raspberries peaches and then fresh mango i got this mango at the farmer's market this weekend and it's probably the best like fresh fruit i've ever had so i just threw the last little bit of that on top of the yoga parfait added some coconut shreds and then some chocolate granola and of course we've got my coffee I just wrote out my daily to-do list and then roughly planned out my week. This week looks a little bit different just because I will be heading out of town to San Diego on Wednesday. So I have a few things that I'd like to edit and just some content and everything that I would like to finalize while I'm out of town. So I kind of planned that out a little bit. It's about 10.30 right now. So these next couple hours are gonna be like a major grind time. I have some editing to take care of and then around noon, I'm actually hopping on um, a class that I've been taking for Spanish, which is kind of random, but I was actually having this conversation with my mom a couple weeks ago. I was like, I just crave having something that I'm learning and working towards. Like in college, obviously I was working towards a degree. So I was learning a lot about business and I miss having like curriculum and learning. And like, there's so many things that I could learn about like business and whatever, but I wanted to learn something that didn't feel like work, you know? And like, just do something to better myself and kind of like a little bit of a hobby. So I got into Lingoda and they're actually the partner of today's video, which is so full circle because I was having this conversation with my mom 
and then they reached out to partner and so I've been taking classes through them recently and Lingoda is an online language school and they have very small interactive classes which I definitely prefer because it helps me to actually practice and learn the language a lot easier and learning a language is not easy and it can definitely come with challenges and I remember in high school when I was learning Spanish because I learned Spanish in high school and then I took a couple classes in college as well this has really helped just cater towards my needs and my learning skills and you can learn so many different languages on their site you can learn English business English French German Italian they have such incredible instructors that are from all over the globe and they really help you speak the language and like that's the best way to really learn a language is to immerse yourself in it and to speak with locals and speak with natives so that you can get a much more like clear understanding of the language and really practice it. Like in school, I hardly ever practice it because I was so nervous to use my skills in the classroom. And like they have um, some different programs as well. They have a lingo to flex, which is what I do just because it's very flexible for a busier schedule and I can just pick up and take classes whenever I need. They're available 24 seven. They also have a lingo to sprint and that's like a very fast way to learn a language you can learn a language within it two months that would be a great option or if you like know you're going to be traveling or going abroad anytime soon and you're like i'm gonna learn a language and i want to learn it fast you can do a lingo to sprint and then they also offer a lingo to teams as a program and honestly i do wish i knew about this sooner because it's been such a seamless experience and i feel as though i've learned more in these classes than i did when i was taking them in high school or college because that was a very like one size fits all approach to a learning language which is not a great way to learn it so this really just customizes it to my needs and i just love all of the instructors with lingoda because i feel encouraged and like motivated to actually practice my skills and speak the language aloud so i'll leave a link down below if you guys are wanting to learn a new language and get started today also i have a code you can use lauren which will get you at 20 euros off or 25 american dollars off when you sign up today and then also you can claim up to 20 free private classes so definitely worth checking out again the link and everything will be in the description box but i'm gonna hop on that in a little while i'm just gonna finish up some work right now i have a tiktok to edit and then also some things for a youtube vlog to go live this week so knocking out some work and just having a productive a couple hours About to head out and run my errands so here's the game plan we're gonna go to the ups store and then whole foods i have an amazon drop off at whole foods and then ulta because i have happy returns i ordered a few things from princess polly and a couple of things that didn't work out so i'm gonna go drop those off and thankfully i have to pick up press on nails at ulta so it's convenient that that's the case and then we're gonna get my eyebrows waxed so we're going in a circle today but knocking things off the to-do list and it should take me like 15 minutes to get my eyebrows waxed and then probably 30 minutes to get all these errands done with. So I'm going to give myself about an hour, taking like a lunch break, if you will, to go take care of some stuff. And then we'll head back home and get back to work. <laughs> are the press-ons that I always get. They're so pretty. Every single time I wear them, people always think I get my nails done at a salon, but when I would go to the salon, this is the color that I would get from OPI. Not about you. They're so good. But I saw that they had this blue and then also the orange, which I'm thinking I should switch it up a little bit because both are so pretty. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the blue. Something a little different. I also just remembered I needed some Mighty Patches, so I'm gonna go try to find those. I just popped into the mall to pick up the order that I made. I got myself a new pair of sneakers, which I've had my eye on these Sambas for the longest time. But y'all probably know, like these shoes are sold out everywhere. They're always sold out in my size. They never have like the colors that I want or like literally any color available. And I've been wanting like a fun, bold color to pair with my basic outfits that I wear on like a daily basis. And how stinking cute is this color? Especially just to spice up the outfit and give it a little more flair. So. These will be so fun to style. Like, 
They're also perfectly versatile because I like to wear these kind of shoes and sneakers with denim skirts, shorts, linen pants, little things like that. And so many outfits on my Pinterest have those sneakers right now. I swear my whole closet is being run by my Pinterest. I'm like getting so much outfit inspo from there. So I've been loving that. But I also got my eyebrows done, which y'all probably can't really even tell. Even though I get them done once a year, I'm always reminded of like how big of a difference it makes. And I just need to like keep up with them. I always say that afterwards. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna keep up with like the whole plucking and tweezing of it all even though it definitely hurts when I do it myself, but she did such a good job. Just like, now they have shape. They have shape and they look good and definitely just like lifted my face a little bit. So I love them. I'm gonna box a couple of PR packages with you guys because I just got these in the mail and I love opening PR because it's fun for me to not only share with you guys like what I got, but also when opening these new products, it's like things that I wanna try out soon and share my honest thoughts with them. So first thing we're gonna open is from the brand Naked Sundays. I feel like I've heard about this brand. I think they're Australian based, if I remember correctly. It looks like makeup or skincare of some sorts. Oh, I love glow drops. These are Mineral Glow SPF 50. That's amazing. The Naked Sundays Cabana Glow Serum Drops. And then this is a water gel serum. You can never have too much sun care. So I'm all about that. Oh. This reminds me of the Drunk Elephant de Bronzy drops that I use and the like illuminating drops, the Bagoldi, because I love that combo together when I'm not wearing makeup. And this is like essentially the Bagoldi and then this is the de Bronzy. Wow, I'm excited. And this is from the brand Beauty Pie. This is makeup, I presume. Oh yes, it's essentially vitamin C. It's a 360 radiance concentrate. Love that. You have me at radiance. I love anything that will make the skin glowy or give it a little extra illumination. I think this is like a daytime serum, so I'm excited about that. And then this is the Beauty Pie Traceless Mineral Sunscreen. We are loaded up with the sunscreens, clearly. Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. I like the sound of that. Wow, that's really soft. I also like how it's pretty sheer, it's nothing too crazy. And then this is a waterproof mascara, which surprisingly, I do not own a waterproof mascara, so this is definitely much needed. And then this is just an under eye brightening cream. This package, I have heard so much about this brand. It's called Dibs. I need to make sure my address isn't showing. Oh my God. Y'all, are we kidding? I'm actually speechless. I did not expect this at all. I'm so excited to try their blushes because blush is definitely one of my favorite makeup products. I'd say blush and lip liner, my essentials. And they have the most beautiful blushes. They're like blush duos and they're baked blushes. So they're gonna apply so nicely and look so good on the skin. This one's like more of a pinky and mauve shade. And then this one is like a coral and mauve, which I've been super into coral blushes recently. And then we've got a eyeshadow palette. I need to start getting better at doing eyeshadow. When my sister was in town, she did the best eyeshadow ever. I'm like, you need to do that to my eyes or I need to learn how because I wanna be good at eyeshadow. I feel like you can definitely step up the makeup game because I typically do the same makeup every single time I do my face makeup. Um, what's this? Another baked blush duo. Oh my God, the packaging is so fun. Like, are we kidding? I love, whoa, what's this? I think this is what I've seen all over TikTok. Yeah, it's like a double-ended contour stick. So you have a contour on one side and then a blush on the other. And are we kidding? Check out the color of the hot pink blush. Yeah. Jaw on the floor. But I definitely wanna save some things specifically to do a giveaway with you guys because obviously y'all are my tried and true. You guys are my ride or die. So I need to craft one up. Maybe around like end of fall come the holiday season. I think that would be super fun. Or like Black Friday giveaway. Oh wow, look at this mirror. And then I also got some goodies from Smith. You guys know I love this brand so much for my laundry detergent. They have the best scents ever. I talk about them probably in like every video. They sent over the half-baked pumpkin smash candle. Do I light it tonight? I'm like really getting into the fall spirit these days, especially lately. Oh my goodness, this makes me just wanna like curl up and get all cozy, have a hot coffee, have like a pumpkin muffin or something. I was scrolling Pinterest today and I was getting recipe inspo or like baking inspo for 
gluten-free muffins, lemon poppy seed muffins, pumpkin muffins. Y'all, I'm way too excited. This is why I, sometimes I wish I lived somewhere where there were four seasons so that I could genuinely enjoy and like soak in the fall time, but that's okay. I do love the Florida weather, so cannot complain. One of y'all reached out to me that you make charm necklaces and sent me one from your Etsy shop and I nearly freaked out because I wear my charm necklace all the time pretty much, but I got it on Amazon and then the other one I got on Etsy. Oh my God, I love it. All of the charms just mean something different, which I think is so fun with charm necklaces. So I was able to customize and pick out all of my different charms. I'll definitely link her Etsy shop down below for you guys because she has so many different pieces and I love the chain that it's on. I think it's so pretty. And then last thing I got, I already opened these because I was so intrigued to try them out, but they're the Grooms Daily. It's like a multivitamin in greens, but on steroids because it helps with gut health, energy, immunity, recovery, beauty, cognition. And I always talk about trying new supplements because that's just so my wheelhouse. I'm such a guinea pig with this kind of stuff. And it's so fun for me. And I saw that these ones come in like little travel packs. So they're very convenient to bring along on like trips or just throw into your bag, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna bring these with me um, when I go to San Diego. And they taste really good. Like these definitely replace bringing greens and like traveling with greens and stuff like that. And they're vegan, gluten-free, nut-free, dairy-free. They have like all the things that you need. Whole food fruits, vitamins and minerals, super mushrooms, antioxidants, adaptogens, gut health prebiotics. Totally my kind of thing. So I'm excited to try these. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. page and I have not stopped thinking about it since so we're gonna make it for lunch today it's the infamous cucumber salad you've probably seen it on your free page but this guy named Logan on TikTok has like a bunch of different recipes and this one sounded so up my alley you use an entire cucumber like all of his recipes he uses this entire cucumber and he'll thinly slice it up and then I'm gonna thinly slice some red onion add some whipped cream cheese this is the chai flavor some smoked salmon. I specifically went to Trader Joe's yesterday to get this because like I said, this recipe has been consuming my For You page. And then lastly, some everything but the bagel seasoning. It's like so simple. All you do is just throw all the ingredients into a mason jar or a bowl and shake it all up and you have yourself a quick go-to like snack, lunch situation. So we'll give it a try. This is already an arm workout. I'm not even halfway through. Nobody talks about how that's actually an arm workout. I just finished shaking it up, giving it a little bit of a stir. I already had a bite, not gonna lie, because I was too excited. And if you like salty foods, this will definitely be so up your alley. I love salty foods. I'm definitely more of a sweet person, but when it comes to like meals, oh my gosh, like lunch and dinner, I'm always craving something salty. Mm-hmm. Definitely worth the hype, like, wow. And it has the perfect crunch too. Like, I love it. Also, I think I went a little overboard on the cucumbers, so I won't do, but that's the point, I guess, like a whole freaking cucumber to haul because my revolve order just came in and then also I made an order from Abercrombie the other day and I got a lot of these pieces not only for my trip coming up but also just for fall time in general. I love some good fall fashion and I wish Florida got a little bit cooler so that I could truly embrace the fall season but it doesn't get to like fall weather until around I want to say December, January, February is when it's like the coolest months out of here, out of here, out of the year here. Um, so, I can still get some use out of fall clothes, but I'm so excited for these pieces. So I'll open everything up and show you guys what I got. Oh, first thing I see, striped shirt. I feel like stripes are just so fall core. I actually got a few striped things the other day when I was at Aerie, which side note, Aerie has the cutest fall stuff right now. Also, everything is like under $50. I did a huge haul the other day 
and posted it on Instagram and TikTok and I'm obsessed with everything. Like they truly have the best sweaters. So first thing I got from Revolve is this long sleeve, thinly striped tee, which I really like because I just think this would be so cute with like linen shorts or linen pants. Just like a very oversized cozy fit and I'm all about that. You guys know I love a good cozy athleisure type of vibe and I really like how soft this material is. So I'm definitely going to be bringing this with me to San Diego, which I have to check the temperature because I have no idea like how cool it's going to be there. I'm assuming it's probably going to be like low 80s, high 70s. That would be so ideal. And then I thought this would be so beautiful for fall. It's like a very long maxi skirt. I mean, look at this color. It's such a pretty burnt orange. And I love a maxi skirt with a simple white tee. This does look a little big though. I think, I think it should fit. Um, this is from the brand Lovers and Friends, which I have a few maxi skirts from this brand and they're just like such great quality. They wear really well. So I'm excited to wear this. Like. This is actually the perfect fall color. These sunnies I've been so excited about. I'm really pumped to see how they fit because we know me, I stick with what I know with my Amazon sunnies. They never do me wrong. And they're like 15 to $20 typically. These ones were 40 and wow, I can already tell the material and like fit of them is gonna be so nice. Okay, yeah, I love these. These are so cute. They're from the brand Air, A-I-R-E. And look at the tortoise shell. And then of course when I saw this matching set, I just had to have it because we know how much I love my matching workout sets. This set I won't necessarily wear for working out, but just more so lounging around. It's so adorable. So this is the top. I just love the cut of it. And then it has a straight cross neckline. So incredibly flattering and the contrasting detail, like how freaking cute. And then this is the skirt to go along with it. Very simple cut, which I love. And then this is from the brand L Space. Very simple little look. It reminds me a lot of the Align material, just like super buttery soft. And I can tell this will be such a good go-to look. I'm definitely gonna bring this with me to San Diego. This next piece is definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I've seen it styled so perfectly on Pinterest and TikTok. And it's definitely quite a trend right now, but they're the little bubble skirts. So I think this would be perfect with like a little tank or a tee and then some colorful sneakers like Adidas Sambas or something. First thing I got from Abercrombie, this might be a little bit questionable because now that I take it out of the packaging and hold it up, it kind of feels like a window curtain. So not sure if I'm gonna keep this or like a tablecloth. Honestly, I'm looking at the curtains that I have on my window in front of me and they're giving very similar vibes, very similar material. So either this is gonna look very flattering on me and just like fall nicely, or it's gonna give too much of like a boxy fit and look like I just wrapped a curtain around my waist. So we'll have to see. And then for the fall, I got this like bow kind of a cutout top, super nice knit material. They were having like a big sale, I remember while I made this order. So we love that. This is definitely like a thicker material too. It's kind of more boxy than I would like. So again, I'm gonna have to see how this fits on. And then these are my favorite tanks from Abercrombie, just like very simple scoop neck. I believe these are called the essential scoop neck. I have it in gray and a cream color as well. And I wear them all the time. And of course we know I'm loving the whole black and white contrast style. So I picked it up in this color and I just got a simple graphic tee. I've been loving these lately to just like throw with little skirts or some jeans or something, super simple outfit. And then last but not least, I just got this sleeveless top, which I thought would be super cute more of like a dressy look. You can't really tell on the camera right now, but it has some ruching on the side. It's a little more like added detail, but I just love the cut on the shoulders. I find this to be like very flattering on my body type because I definitely have like broader shoulders. So tops like this, I definitely prefer. And I think this is so cute with like some gold jewelry, some jeans. I love it. So yeah, that was a little peek into my pre-fall haul. I cannot believe that I'm already shopping for fall clothes and like transitioning my wardrobe. It's crazy. So I'll definitely link everything down below for you guys.
45. I'm getting ready to lay in bed right now. I probably won't fall asleep right away. I'm gonna read for a little bit. Also ignore the fact that I have a pimple patch right above my lip because I have the most stubborn zit and it will not go away. Last week I had one, right? Maybe it was on this cheek. On this cheek that wouldn't go away until like a couple days after using the Mighty Patches. And now this week I have this one like right above my lip. Thankfully it's like the only breakout that I have, but it's still annoying. Anyways, I'm just gonna read for a little bit. This is the current book that I'm reading. It's pretty slow right now. I'm like halfway through. It was good in the beginning for a little bit, but it's definitely slowed down. And I've heard really good things about this book, so I'm just trying to give it a chance and just like get through the slowness of it right now. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for the night. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely a very productive Monday in the life. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.